say, you ain't talked to your buddy in a while, you know, and they know who is your real peoples. You know, they, oh, man, you need to have them over here and everything like that. That's family. I went over his crib. His girl made food and everything like that. I don't know what I said, but she was like, oh, you eat, eat what you want. You family and stuff like that. Okay. I can't see no two females saying that shit. And I hate to say this, but I'm going to say this. Fuck it. We on the radio. They got a jealous nature. They ain't going for this shit. <laughs> well, it's about who you allow in your world and in your circle, too, also. It's about how are you willing to understand people and how they operate because everybody's not going to operate the same way you operate. Everybody's not going to think the way you think. And the world is very different and every person is different. I'm not going to say every person is different because we all have familiar traits. That's why we bond with each other. That's why we bond with certain people and everything else. You dig what I'm saying? So my whole thing is like with that is that if you can find you two females that understand you know, understand the whole, your whole being and what you're trying to do and what you're trying to be about. How come it can't work? You have to search for people just like you search for that right job that fits you just right. That's what we go through our whole life. That's what America has taught us. Find that right job for you. Go out there. But they, you know, it's not going to be out there on the platter for us. We got to go search for it and work for it, right? And we got to go to school and probably do all that. Same thing with a female. Think about all the females that you done went through in life. Those are your education and crash courses of what to do and what not to do. What type of females to run into, what not, what females not to run into. You have to allow certain type of females in your circle in order to live the type of life that you want to live. You get what I'm saying? I think a man can live with two. Do I agree with you that all females have 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 this jealousy trait? Yeah, men do too. You have men that are just as big as bitches, just as fucking women. Then they had their traits then. Get what I'm saying? So you have to find that like-minded culture. You have to find that like-minded person or those people that bond with you. Whatever you allow in your circle, that's what's going to be your reality. This is true. This is true. But so, so, so if those females, if, if you are not smart enough and intelligent enough to detect that this female that's on your team is not down with the same thing that y'all down with, you got a problem with yourself because that means you got a problem with understanding people and their character. You get what I'm saying? Because only thing, I, you know what the dopest thing everybody said, anybody ever said to us? Females are just like males. Only thing is, they sit down and pee. We stand up and pee. We all have brains, right? You think a female don't think about shit the same way you think about it? Think about it. Let's just, let's just get a little explicit. You don't think about you don't think a female wants somebody to do something dominant and nasty to her just like you want to do something dominant and nasty to that female. Let's think about it like that, man. But like you say though, it depends on the individual. Exactly. So you have to find that individual that makes. But I'd be damned because I went through a female who claimed she was an alpha female. There ain't no way you going down with me, trying to, man, tell me shit. I mean, I'll listen to you and then agree on you and everything like that. But other than that, no. I I can't have it. Now, you can give me ideas and then we can work together. But I'm not going to be, oh, yeah, I'm following her and shit like that. And I'm not trying to be, uh, what's the word, Uh, sexist or anything of that nature. (laughs) It's open mic discussion, man. Say what you feel, man. But I'm looking for that word. uh, Starts with an M. Um, anything of that nature But on the real though I mean I, I just I'm looking for my You know Dave, you Soulmate some? Soulmate As you call it Yeah But If you got that whole Make believe thing Of What you've seen And everything else As like Your soulmate And I'm asking a personal question Is your mother and father divorced? They were never married. They were never married, but they they were separated. They 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 didn't make it to the point to where they're together now, right? Right. Now you get my point, right? But she made a decision, though. Exactly. And because you know, it wasn't. She said she because it wasn't su- because it wasn't suitable for her at the time, and it wasn't suitable for him. No matter what the situation was, they didn't make it. It wasn't suitable for them. He wanted to marry her. She didn't want to get married. But you got to think another thing about how she went through life when she was young. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my whole thing. 
That's my whole thing. You have to find those people that bond with you. You cannot live a fast life and think somebody who live a slow life is going to immediately, you know, not necessarily cooperate, but run concurrent with you. You get what I'm saying? You have to give them time to build up pace if you are at a fast pace. Vice versa with a female. You say that, man. But I, I didn't. I didn't mess up a relationship where me and her were on the same page. Me being pig-headed and everything like that, I messed it up. But I knew that she was really for me. Well, you know, we all lose some and we win some. We're going to wrap this podcast up, man. Just the brothers just sitting back sitting in the back y'all having a few beers and everything else. You know, they smoking me out with these cigarettes and everything else. Uh, we got... Old cherries falling from the tree. We sitting back looking and make sure there ain't no incoming from the birds and all that other stuff. But uh, we're going to be back on the mic real soon, man. We're going to go ahead and wrap this podcast up, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this, man. This is Black Hippie Radio Entertainment. I had the homie Dante and the homie Dave, IT guy. Anything y'all want to say before we before we close it out? Y'all want to give any shout-outs or anything? Any real quick? No shout-outs for me, but everybody out there... Make sure you take care of yourself. Always. Yeah, and remember, this is uh, our opinions and everything like that. We ain't bashing anybody. No, nah, nah. you no. Know, uh, it's just a, it's just an open mic discussion, that's all. But if you do feel that way, well, fuck you anyway. <laughs> I can give a fuck <laughs> less because it's my, shit. Yeah, my, my opinion and everything like that. But I, right. I ain't getting part of no hate group or nothing like that. Right, but right. take it as you want to. This is This is an open mic discussion. On an open mic forum, this is Black Hippie Radio Entertainment, and the First Amendment will be practiced each day and all day of whoever's behind this mic. Y'all be cool. We're going to be back in y'all in a minute.